guys welcome back to the second video tutorial of a jquery chart for asp.net in my last video tutorial we have talked about the annotation chart and area chart today we're gonna talk about the bar chart and bubble chart okay it's a very simple you have to just manage your array okay but before that uh, let's check out how this chart looks like okay this is the first bar chart and after that the bubble chart let's talk about the bar chart okay this is the very simple you can also uh, call this chart as a column chart okay but it's a little difference we have a two y axis from the one from the left side and one from the right side and a single axis x axis and uh, the distance and right that is the legend okay if I talk about the distance I have to follow the right y-axis and if I talk about the brightness then I have to talk about the uh, left y-axis okay so let's check how this chart can be configured okay first of all bar chart as usual you have to import a Google API JavaScript that is JS API after that you have to load that uh, package here we have used a simple bar okay because we want to load the bar chart after that we'll set on load callback functions that is the draw stuff whatever you can name it it's depend on, depend on you okay after that we have an array and we have converted that array to data table by using the google dot visualization dot array to data table okay here i have a galaxy distance and brightness these are the three columns in a single sorry these are the three elements in a single array okay in the next row I have to specify the value of all these three elements galaxy for the canyas measured drops and distance and after that the brightness okay this is my complete data after that I have a option options I have a options that is width is around 900 pixel chart for the chart I have a title and a subtitle for the series it's a 0 and 1 for the 0 axis I have a distance and a 1 axis I have a brightness okay that means X and Y right this is our uh, distance and this is our brightness okay sorry it's a series okay and at the bottom we have an axis that is a Y axis because we have a 2 Y axis first is the process and second is the brightness that means distance and brightness for the brightness we have a set side is equal to right and label is apparent magnitude here you can see that this is the left y axis and this is the right y axis right guys and after that we have assigned a bar chart to a div and uh, call a draw method with the help with the passing data and option parameters to the draw method okay so let's check this is my simple data now I want to increase my brightness for the user measure to draw okay uh, users measure true okay here we have only 50th then I am assigning it to 30 key right just save it and control F5 right we have a 30k and that is the top bar brightness okay that means the distance is around 30k and uh, brightness is also a 30k okay as usual if I talk about the brightness then I have to follow the right y axis and if I talk about the distance then I have to follow the left y axis right guys I hope you have understanding this okay and as usual the x and y axis we have named it that is the distance and brightness right and the galaxy the galaxy comes from your first row of your array to data table method okay this is the galaxy this is called on y axis because we have a different different names on the y axis right guys let's talk about the bubble chart okay it's a very different chart okay here 
we have a simple uh, like you can say the groups okay or you can say the different different areas are available like North America Europe and Middle East okay and I have a simple country code and the country names with the fertility rate and the life expectancy life expectancy okay let's check that code as usual we have imported the core chart you have to uh, remember guys you have to remember this the what for what chart or which kind of package you have to import okay otherwise it will not work here I have a created a, again array to data table here I have ID ID means the uh, country code life expectancy the age of life expectancy the fertility rate the region and the population okay after that in the option we have assigned a title horizontal axis title and vertical axis title and after that the bubble the textile font size is around 11 let's change it to 12 okay and as usual we have a called bubble chart we have passed our div and assign a data and option parameters to draw method let's control f5 this okay font is make a little bigger this is the USA this is the Denmark this is GBR Canada DEU Russia Iran okay let's add India okay so you here you have to create an array first the country code that is IND uh, life expectancy around 90.00 fertility rate 2 and after that region is I uh, and sorry Asia A S I A Asia and last it's a 1 crore 25 sorry one not 1 crore it's 1 Arab 25 crore okay this is India right guys I hope you have enjoyed this two video to two charts video tutorial okay if you want to talk if you want to learn about the different that is annotation and area chart you can follow my earlier videos okay if you want to learn more different technologies for ASP.NET PHP and other technologies mobile platforms you can find it on find it all the two video tutorial on my channel as well as on my website that is infologs.in okay so just to practice and don't forget to subscribe this channel till then bye bye